Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my new vlog. In this video I'm gonna talk about a tiny channel refresh that I've done super recently on my channel and why I did that. So for all of you my ultra hardcore fans who know me from these ancient times back in 2014 I've made my first YouTube channel called Mr. Smile. I was 13 or 14 back then and uh, I made gaming videos and a bunch of other silly stuff on that YouTube channel. The channel still exists though. And uh, you all know that I've made back in that time uh, a Facebook group called Mr. Smile. Now, at the end of every my video on this Chris channel, I always say uh, that there is a Facebook group that you can join and the link is down below in the description la 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 anyway uh, that Facebook group was called Mr. Smile back in those ancient times and then when I made this Chris YouTube channel back in 2018 I renamed that uh, Facebook group from Mr. Smile to Chris because it was stupid for me to lose all of my audience completely and all the followers and everything in that group so I just renamed the group and kept using it under the different name and I just changed it now two days ago right or three two days I think uh, that group was removed from Facebook it doesn't exist anymore and the reason behind that is that Somehow I broke some of the community guidelines even though I didn't post anything offensive or anything in that group. The only thing that I would post in that group for more than few years now is just the links of my videos. Actually my videos every time I publish a video on YouTube I would just copy the link and paste it in that group so people can see it over there as well. And that's everything that I've been doing and uh, somehow the group got marked for you know breaking community guidelines or something and Facebook removed it I don't know what the hell happened and the only thing I'm sorry about from that group is again all of these followers and community that I've built through all these years and I had a bunch of cool photos there with my old fans you know and people that I really loved and you know that there, there was a lot of great memories behind those pictures and stories and everything and it's all just gone now just like that at a snap of a finger it doesn't exist anymore so what the hell Facebook so I was super mad when I realized what happened but I also realized there is no way I'm bringing that group back so then I thought like what's the point of just being mad and stressing myself about it I tried contacting Facebook I, I don't know what happened I literally don't know what happened there there was no reason for that group to be removed I didn't post anything offensive again or anything and it's just gone what I did realize though that is that the group got filled with bunch of freaking bots and fake Facebook accounts and that's because they changed that the fact that you don't have to confirm people in the groups anymore they went public and you can either keep the group on private or you can put it on public and there is no point for me to have you know a private group about the public things that I talk about on internet or whatever just like I don't have time to confirm every single person and allow them in the group and I also don't have anyone who I can trust enough that will do that for me so I'm the only person who could have paused in that group and you know uh, allow people in until the Facebook changed that and you know everyone was free to join which I was again okay with but what happened is that these bots started joining the group and they tried to post things that were non-content related with me or whatever it was just like spam messages and links for some fake pages that would try to steal your money nudity you know sexual things and stuff like that 
and I would like disapprove all of these posts and none of them could slip by me I would be the one who has to allow that for you to post anything you couldn't post anything in that group uh, it needed my allowance and that worked out fine until somehow some bots or people managed to kind of slip through and just I, they either hacked that or something that the group got hacked or something and they posted some things about some cryptocurrency links you know join you're gonna make a bunch of money la 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 it's obviously a fraud and a scam and I bet that's why Facebook marked me as my group as like spam or something you know and it got deleted because those things are not allowed you know you can't steal anyone's money or whatever it's illegal and I realized that so I quickly went and deleted these posts that were posted these pictures and once I've done that I was going through my settings to see if there is anything I can do to block these things and pre prevent them from happening ever again and there was nothing like that no block option for these things or whatever I couldn't do anything and then I refreshed the page and the group was just gone I couldn't find it anywhere and then later I found in the settings that group was deleted by Facebook and that's it that's that's how you lose the group that you've been leading from since 2014 with all of your community and people inside of it it's just a bullshit but i now made an official chris facebook page so yeah here it is this is how it looks like it's brand new chris facebook page and now under every my video you have the link to my official Instagram profile because I use Instagram more than Facebook honestly since I've made it it's just I think better platform sh for sharing content so uh, Instagram is much more uh, friendlier towards the content creators and it's not as censoring as the Facebook is and Instagram overall is just much harder to hack and break into than Facebook and it's more secure so I now have a, under every my video links to my Instagram, my official Instagram account, which you can also find under the channel, channel uh, description and I also have the link to my Facebook page that you can also like and follow if you want. And there you go. So now you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So yeah, now that's how things are, that's the new update, I think the Facebook page is more engaging, people can now comment, uh, in my Facebook group you couldn't comment under the posts or whatever, and the uh, page is much more uh, community engaging, you know, you know people can leave comments, talk to each other, and all these kind of things, so I think it's better to have a Facebook page rather than a group. The reason why I had the group is because it was easier to uh, deal with and just uh, it was more, you had more control over it. But Facebook changed that over the years and now it's just more simple to have your page and that's what I did. So yeah, now you have official Chris Facebook page and my Instagram. Also I'm gonna say right now, I'm not gonna follow you back on my Instagram profile. And if I don't know you personally and I don't follow you back, you can't send me a message and you can't comment under any of my pictures, posts, whatever on Instagram. You can't reply to my stories, you can't do anything. I forbid all of that because I don't want random people who I don't even know messaging me and spamming me or whatever. The only way I contact with you is if I decide that uh, to do myself. Same goes with Facebook, on my Facebook page you will be able to comment and all that but you can't message me, again I have to allow that so you can contact with me but you can follow everything that I post so I kinda made my accounts public and private in the same time you know there I, I got the privacy that I want but I also have the publicity that I want and I think that's the best way to keep it and that's how it's gonna stay forever and yeah uh, the final thing I want to talk about is uh, that I quitted playing PUBG 
you know, this may be some random info, but uh, when I started my YouTube channel, I said uh, the PUBG is one of the games that I play in my free time, and you know, you saw me here and there posting PUBG videos, you know, and it's, it's the games that I play in my free time, and those are Daisy uh, and Squads. Those two games are the games that I play in my free time and I make content about even though I haven't posted a single day Z video in two freaking years and if you ask me why simple answer is because I had no time and you know I just didn't make any day Z videos that's it but I kept playing game on the regular basis so what I will do from now on is try to make more content about these games that I play in my free time overall I will try to increase my activity on the channel and post more videos post more often anyway back to PUBG the reason why I quit at PUBG is simply because the game is freaking dead for me they literally copied every feature from Call of Duty Warzone and implemented it into PUBG in the most recent patch, they decided to add buy stations and, you know, the cover that you can summon from the sky. So I was watching that and I literally was like, this is not a PUBG anymore. This shit's turning into the Fortnite and Call of Duty Warzone. And they just started adding so many useless and stupid features and things into the game and since the game went free to play the, the the amount of cheaters in the game fucking tripled and it's dumb the anti-cheat system just doesn't work in that game and it's it's stupid i don't see any point of that of playing that game anymore it's not fun to me i don't enjoy it anymore games are something that you are supposed to enjoy and have fun with and PUBG is just not that for me anymore which is the reason why I uninstalled it and I will never ever play that game again it is complete waste of time and that's it so no more PUBG on my channel I, I had enough of that game been playing it since 2017 since it showed up on the Steam and I'm just tired of it and I'm planning on actually replacing that game with another tactical shooter that I actually played on my channel already when it was in early access which is ready or not now that game has improved so much since the early access and i'm actually planning on starting to play that game again uh, and yeah that's it i will probably start playing ready or not on my channel i'm still considering it but i might add that game as one of the games that i play in my free time and make the content about it because it's really cool and I'm enjoying it a lot. I actually love realistic games. I love realistic tactical milsim shooters, which is why I started playing squad. I love when you have to communicate with other people and plan things, how you're gonna get things done, you know. I love when each gun has a different sound, different caliber, different recoil. I love when each unit has different loadout and, you know, uh, different equipment. I love uh, how in Ready or Not you can customize your guns, attachments, you know. I just love those realistically portrayed games, which is also why I love DayZ. It's very realistic, you know, it's really how survival would be in real life when you think about it. Like, there is so many features and things in that game that just make it unique and realistic for me. And that's it. That's simply it. I, I'm that tactical milsim guy and I love those kind of things. That just makes me really excited and, you know, when you have to actually think about the things that you're doing in-game, that's completely different level when when it feels so immersive and realistic and you know PUBG is not that anymore you know it, it just became ridiculous at this point it's a game that was once enjoyable for me but it's not anymore and you know that's my opinion you don't have to agree with me but yeah uh, I actually plan on switching the game but yeah, that's how things are, you know, sometimes you just gotta let go of some games. I used to enjoy Arma 3 as well, but the engine is just so outdated and the game has a bunch of performance issues and server issues and stuff. And 
generally I just got bored of it after seven years of playing the same game. So sometimes you just, got, you just gotta add new things in life and you know find new things to enjoy and that's how life goes. So yeah, Ready or Not is now officially out of early access and I'm once again interested in playing that game. They added a bunch of new and cool things so I'm really interested in the game. Um, another thing that I updated on my channel are my profile picture and banner. So yeah, this is how it looks like now. I designed and photoshopped everything myself. So yeah, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, uh, that's it. That's everything I wanted to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, share, comment or subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to, it's totally okay. Uh, in my description you can find uh, links to my Facebook and Instagram accounts, so you can follow me there. If you want, if you can, don't want to, you don't have to, it's totally okay. And I love you guys, thank you for watching, and I'll definitely see you in the next videos. Chris out.